Hi, I wanted to show you how to do the calculation for the redox reaction when you're in the lab. Um, so I've done some work for you ahead of time in case, um, just in case I might talk through, uh, maybe you have to do it, it's not given to you. Here's your two half reactions. You're going to have the permanganate half reaction and the hydrogen peroxide. Notice I had to balance the electrons gained and lost. I had a two and a five. So I multiplied this by a two to get it to 10 electrons gained. Multiplied this half reaction by a five to get it to 10 electrons lost. When I multiplied that um, and added my half reactions, notice 10 electrons gained cancels 10 electrons lost. I also wanted to point out we had 10 hydrogen ions on the reactant side, 16 on the product. So if you subtract that, you end up with six hydrogens on the reactant side. Um, so here is my balanced net ionic equation. Now I've done the titration and you already watched that video. So I've done the titration. Let's say that the initial volume was 19.15 mils. Okay. So I look at this beautiful permanganate. I read it 19.15 mils. Take this, I titrate, it turns pink, stays pink for at least 30 seconds. And I read my final volume on this. Um, and remember when you're reading, you're going from one down. So I'm at, and you're always reading the exact line where that meniscus hits. So I'm at, you know, 36, 37, um, 37.1.2.3.4.5.6. And it's just a hair below it. So my guess would be a 37.61. That one at the hundredth place would my, be my guess. So I subtract this and I get that we've added a total volume of 18.46 mils of the permanganate into my hydrogen peroxide. Well, now we can do the math, and that's what you want to figure out is how um, to find out a couple of things. I'm going to show you how to um, get a couple of data um, numbers from this. Now, let's say that the molarity of our potassium permanganate was 0 0.0188 molar, okay? And I just added this volume. Well, we can find the exact number of moles that we added of that permanganate into the hydrogen peroxide. So let's find the number of moles. We are going to have 0 0.0188 moles per liter of the permanganate. Remember, for potassium permanganate, one mole of potassium permanganate has one mole of permanganate. So I can just say this molarity is the same molarity as the permanganate. Um, multiply that by, I'm going to convert that to liters by dividing by a thousand. So let's multiply by 0 0.01846 liters. Notice liters cancels, and that is going to give us 3.47 times 10 to the minus four moles of our permanganate ion. So that's how many moles we added. Now, I'm driving out hydrogen peroxide. I want to know the amount of hydrogen peroxide. So we're going to do just a little bit of stoichiometry. If I know the moles of the permanganate, let's figure out how many moles of hydrogen peroxide we had in here. They love it. Pretty simple. If we have 3.47 times 10 to the minus 4 moles of the permanganate, well, the ratio is for every two moles of permanganate, it is going to react with five moles of hydrogen peroxide. So do this math and we get the exact moles of hydrogen peroxide. 8.68 times 10 to the minus four moles of hydrogen peroxide. Okay, so we just found the exact moles inside of here. Now, a couple of um, pieces of information that we could derive from this. I know that I used one mil. Remember over here from the last video, we added one mil of hydrogen peroxide to this. So I could divide that by 0 0.001. I could divide it by 0 0.001 liters, and that would give me a 0.868 molar H2O2. Let me write that down. If I just divided it by 0 0.001 liters. Um, that would give us, me the molarity. So there's the molarity, great. Um, if you need to find molarity, you just take the moles divided by the volume that you started with, okay, the volume that you started with. Um, for hydrogen peroxide, because it is marketed um, as 3%, I wanna see what is that um, percent by mass? What's the percent by mass of hydrogen peroxide? 
To do that, I need to know the mass of the, um, the exact hydrogen peroxide, and I need to know the mass that I delivered here. Now, I know it was one mil, okay? So let's explore that for just a second. Again, if I want to know percent mass, you'll recall percent mass is going to be the mass of your uh, solute divided by the mass of the total solution. This is the solute. So let's take this and convert it to mass. We're going to convert this to grams. Um, so one mole of that hydrogen peroxide will be 32 plus 2, so 34.02 grams. And the mass for for this, let me give it to you, is going to be 0 0.0295 grams. Okay, 0 0.0295 grams. Now, remember I put one mil, one mil in here. The um, density of hydrogen peroxide, we're going to say is the same as the density of water. So check this out. If I had one mil of H2O to hydrogen peroxide, um, one mil, is the same as one gram. That's going to be our density. So that means I have one gram, okay? So let's take this and divide the solute. So it's going to be grams of hydrogen peroxide divided by the grams of the total solution. So we found the grams, all right? We knew the moles that were in here, converted that from moles to grams. The grams are 0 0.0295. The total grams of the solution, I added one mil into that. And that mill weighed one gram because of its density. Divide by one gram, multiply by 100, and check it out, 2.95%. And on the bottle that I buy for my students, it says 3%. Wow, pretty close. Um, you'll find that um, hydrogen peroxide, often when I buy a brand new bottle, is at like 4%. It's even higher because um, within a year, half of it will decay, and so they they actually give you a little extra when you buy a brand new bottle. This one probably sat for a while. That one probably sat for a while to be at 2.95%. Okay, and that is how you do your calculation. Good job, you guys. Let me see if there was any other calculations on here that I wanted to give you. Nope, I think you were perfect. So that's how you can figure out the mass percent of hydrogen peroxide through a redox reaction. Big, big takeaway. Easy setup, make sure that you do this in acid. Um, you're adding water, acid, hydrogen peroxide, titrate until it turns pink with the potassium permanganate. All you have to record here, initial and final volume until you hit that beautiful pink. Um, and then once you're here, find the moles of the permanganate and convert using stoichiometry moles of the permanganate to moles of the hydrogen peroxide. Once you have that, you can find molarity, you can find grams, you can even find percent mass. Okay, good work, so proud of you. Have a great day, thank you.